Hello everybody, Andrea Majewski here with Dental Tutoring. Let's talk about fluoride. So this is a great topic because there was actually, um, I'm part of a group on Facebook and somebody was just simply asking about fluoride. So not a dental professional, but somebody was asking the best toothpaste to use. Um, they were looking for an all natural toothpaste because they want to limit as much waste as possible in their household. So just simply what toothpaste is everybody using? Do they make their own? Things like that. So um, I had mentioned, and I did say, you know, as a dental hygienist, let me mention that um, I don't agree with that, with um, natural toothpaste, um, simply because you need more in there in your toothpaste than simply baking soda and water. Yes, in hindsight, it sounds great because you're able to take away the plaque, which in turn, if there's no plaque, there's no tartar, right? But it's harming your enamel. It's too abrasive. You need a toothpaste that will also help to fight against gingivitis. Um, bad breath, you know, plaque, tartar, the whole works, right? I mean, I did say it a little bit, you know, not as technical as that, but I did say as a dental hygienist, these are my thoughts. Um, but I did also say make sure to have fluoride in your toothpaste. I find these days on social media, anytime you talk about your opinion and your thoughts, it's not always a good thing, especially if someone doesn't agree with them, right? So that started a whole thread of people who like fluoride, people who don't like um, fluoride, people were talking about how fluoride kills, people were talking, oh my gosh, all kinds of things. And I try to be as sub subjective as possible, but I'm a dental hygienist, I'm a dental professional, so I feel like I do have to chime in in these cases. But I kept always saying, you know, it's just my opinion, we all have our own opinions, you do what's best for you, okay? You are the one who asked the question, so I'm giving my opinion, right? So pro-fluoride, you know, do you like fluoride? Do you not like fluoride, why? So this is how I explained it. I, ex I, ex I explained it because a lot of people were saying that fluoride is bad, there's research showing it's just bad. It, it can kill us over time, it causes cancer, it does all kinds of things, right? And people were asking me, well, what research do you have that fluoride is good? And I said to them, I said, well, since we've taken the fluoride out of the water, depending on where you live, I've seen rampant decay in young children. So yeah, that's my own research. Um, when an eight-year-old comes in with so many cavities, yet they've never had a cavity before, or maybe one cavity when they were four years old, and now they have 10 cavities and they've never had, you know, they don't eat a lot of sugar, they're not doing anything, they don't have a lot of plaque or tartar, so what else is happening, right? I'm not just basing it on one patient, of course, but I do simply say, well, I see it in my profession, those who have fluoride in the drinking water versus those that don't. It's quite obvious. It's very, very obvious. Enamel is not as strong, you know, so I go through the whole thing. So those are just some things that I had mentioned about pro-fluoride, is that as long as you are using a toothpaste, again, you guys, in my opinion, so please feel, feel free to comment below on your opinions as well, but be nice about it, because if you're mean, um, I'm going to have to remove you, right? So just be nice about it, but um, because no, nobody wants to see rude comments, um, but yeah, just pro-fluoride. I feel like if you're brushing your teeth with toothpaste, that contains um, that contain um, fluoride, you are helping the enamel and helping your teeth. In turn, it means less cavities, you have a lesser chance of getting cavities, and it's just a good thing overall. If you're swallowing toothpaste every time you brush, that's not a good thing, and yes, you will be sick. Um, don't blame the fluoride, blame you for swallowing the toothpaste. Um, that's why kids should not have um, any fluoride in their toothpaste until they can spit out their toothpaste. And then people, when I had mentioned that, people on the group were saying, well, if fluoride is so bad, why can't they swallow it? They said, well, that's kind of a weird argument. You know, there are a lot of things for us that are good, um, but we shouldn't be eating it. Like, you know, toothpaste, or sorry, not toothpaste, um, nail polish won't kill us. But if we drink a bottle of it, well, it might, you know, I don't really know. Um, window cleaner is amazing for washing the windows, but when we're drinking it, that's not good. Even those natural um, counter cleaners, those, those natural window cleaners, if we drink them, yes, they're natural for us, 
but we shouldn't be drinking them, right? So I kind of used that and that shut a lot of people up, right? Um, sorry, I thought somebody was at the door. So I just kind of mentioned that. I said, well, I still think fluoride's a great thing. I use it. I use it every day. In fact, I apply um, a fluoride varnish onto my teeth every six months because when I was a kid and I had um, a fluoride in the water, I would get a lot of ins um, incipients. So I would get little cavities that were so tiny, not enough to fix them, but they were there. So if I didn't brush really, really well, then they would get larger. But it's because I have thin enamel. It, it, it is now known that I have thin enamel, right? So I need, in my opinion anyway, I need fluoride and I find, why not have it? Why not protect the enamel as much as possible? Your enamel will last you for your entire life. Just don't eat it and just don't swallow it. So I am absolutely pro fluoride. And some of the other members in the group were saying, oh, well, notice how only the dental professionals are pro fluoride. It's because, you know, it's the same thing as the doctors pushing um, pharmacological drugs. And I said, what? That's not the same thing. Um, I'm a dental professional. I'm pro fluoride, but I'm not making money off of recommending fluoride to people. Like, what are you talking about? You know, it's kind of silly. And then I said to them, well, I'm as natural, you know, in a lot of things. Like I actually, and this is a true story. Like I have natural cleaning products. I have natural, um, um, makeup i have natural deodorant um i try not to take you know advil tylenol any painkillers i do try to use um essential oils where i can so i'm trying to be as natural as possible but that's just a personal choice but not when it comes to my toothpaste i fully fully believe that those natural toothpaste out there they're full of baking soda and baking soda harms your enamel and that actually um, strips away the natural oils and the natural pH, the good pH that we have. So I prefer the other toothpastes. Um, sorry guys, again, I thought I heard somebody. Um, I'm expecting someone, so that's why I keep kind of looking. Somebody has to pick something up. But, um, you know, I'm a full believer in I don't really like natural toothpaste. I don't tell that to my patients, but if they do ask me the toothpaste that I recommend, I will tell them. Or if they do ask me about natural toothpaste, I am fully honest with them. Um, I use natural toothpaste, I'd say, a couple years ago because um, at the time, as I said, I was kind of switching over to being as natural as possible. And I'm not blaming the toothpaste, but that's when I got my first cavity. I got a four or five DO cavity and I kind of thought, oh, I had never had one. I'm super nervous. Yes, I'm a dental hygienist, but I still was not happy that I had a cavity and I brush and, and, and floss every day and do everything that I'm supposed to. So again, you guys, I'm not blaming the toothpaste, but I quickly switched my toothpaste again and I haven't had a cavity since. So... I fully believe, like once I started doing more um, research on it, I found, yeah, the natural toothpaste isn't the best thing for you. It's really not. In my opinion, sorry, I feel like I have to keep saying that because I don't want somebody to be watching the video halfway through and then being like, oh, she hates like natural toothpaste. You know, it's horrible. So no, it's just my opinion. I don't use it on myself. And I don't recommend it for my patients. So that's why I'm pro fluoride. In my opinion, it can't hurt unless you're eating the fluoride. It just helps to make the enamel stronger. So why wouldn't you want that? Please feel free to comment below. I feel like I could talk about this forever, but I'll stop the video and let you guys comment on your thoughts. So please let me know, are you pro um, fluoride? Are you not? Um, I'm sure I'll come up with another video talking about some of the comments too. So please just let me know what your thoughts are. And thank you guys so much for watching.